So this is Arco, Arco, Idaho, the first city to be lit by atomic power. In the early days of nuclear power, we didn't know much about climate change or that this new low carbon energy source could help address it. Today, nuclear power provides 10% of the world's electricity. The thing is, to stem climate change, we're going to need far greater amounts of clean and reliable energy. To tackle climate change, 80% of all electricity will need to be low carbon by 2050. In order to meet climate goals, uh, we have to keep building and we have to increase our nuclear capacity. Russia, India and China are currently leading the way in expanding nuclear power. China has nine reactors under construction, the most anywhere. Countries elsewhere are also building new reactors, like Finland. Our biggest climate act in Finland will be when the new reactor will start in Olkilot. 30 countries currently operate nuclear power plants. More than two dozen others are looking at nuclear power to meet their energy and climate needs. The United Arab Emirates and Belarus are close to operating their first nuclear power plants. And Bangladesh and Turkey recently started construction. We believe that nuclear energy is an indispensable option for Turkey because it is emission-free, environmental-friendly, sustainable, and reliable electricity source. Currently, 450 nuclear power reactors operate worldwide. But to respond to emerging needs and challenges, the nuclear power industry is looking ahead towards innovative solutions for the long-term operation of existing reactors, the timely expansion of ongoing nuclear power programs, and the deployment of new reactor technologies. Several countries are developing small modular reactors. One has already been built in Russia. If this new smaller technology proves to be successful, then nuclear power can become more affordable and even more flexible to be integrated with renewables in so-called hybrid energy systems. In the Western United States, Amid reminders of our nuclear past, more than 30 towns and cities are looking to the future. They want to go carbon-free, and they're betting on small modular reactors to get there. I've come from the IAEA's Office of Public Information to find out more. Our residents here in Lehigh, and I think along the Wasatch Front, are more environmentally conscious than they ever have been. The days are gone where we rely solely on coal, we rely solely on natural gas, they're gone. The community-owned utilities are increasing energy efficiency and expanding use of renewables. You know, our coal's been working really hard, 95% capacity factor type product. Uh, as it goes away, uh, we need to replace it with a similar 95% capacity product that's emission-free, and that's what nuclear gives us. Nuclear energy can back up those renewables, ensuring round-the-clock clean power even when there's no sunshine or wind. Still, investing in a new nuclear technology has not been an easy decision. Cost is a key concern. We believe that the technology, with the help from the Department of Energy, will bring this in at uh, $55 a megawatt hour, all in costs onto the grid. We think that's very competitive with combined cycle natural gas, and we're about one third the cost of typical lithium salt battery storage. Recently, the community utilities agreed to proceed with the project, taking it off the drawing board and closer to commercial reality. 
The big issue for, for nuclear is to demonstrate that we can actually build them, that we can build them on time. The small modular reactors will be built at the Idaho National Laboratory. Besides generating power for the communities, the plant will also be used for research on other applications, like seawater desalination or hydrogen production to decarbonize industry and transportation. This small modular reactor project can integrate beautifully and seamlessly with uh, uh, wind, with solar, with some of those other uh, sources that are maybe intermittent but that are also carbon free. Even water has its uh, shape of flow throughout the year and nuclear is steady. It allows for that uh, marriage between uh, all of the different carbon free sources and, uh, and so it, it's, it's the key that makes all of that other desirable uh, alternative energy uh, possible. Uh, because alone, it just can't sustain a, a growing population. The world is at a crossroads. To avert the worst from climate change, we need the right policies. The choice is ours. <laughs>